there's a kind of con code of conduct. Uh, so if you don't know anything about it, I recommend visiting the code of conduct, reading it, and uh, yeah, it's for reminding us um, how we want us to behave and uh, to interact with each other. Great. So let's begin. Uh, static site generator. Who knows what a static site is? Great. One, two. Static. Static website. Three. Static. Okay. Four. Wow. <laughs> Dropping in. Great. <laughs> okay. I, I, I'll just define it a little. So a uh, static website is um, as it is um, on the server as on the client side. Uh, uh, there is no nothing processed on the server um, before it is, is deployed to the client or um, uh, yeah, delivered to the client. So that's the static side. Uh, one exception is there uh, in the dynamically is when a client side um, processing is made, like JavaScript, for example, but no node um, on the server side or a backend on the server side that's interacting. So it's just for uh, like um, consuming. And nowadays, you even probably don't need uh, JavaScript with the new uh, CSS stuff. So um, let's see how JBake. Oh, I just forgot. <laughs> there are static site generators. You don't have to write all the HTML code on your own. And uh, like, um, yeah, there are a lot of them out there for almost any language you can imagine. Um, for Go, for um, Python, for JavaScript even, uh, for Java, of course. And um, since we are groovy, <laughs> we want to do a groovy um, static site generator. And uh, there's, there are also several. And uh, one of the most, um, um, yeah, um, how's it called? Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, Maintained, it's, that's it, um, is uh, JBEG. Uh, JBEG is um, originally uh, written for Java, but it's, uh, yeah, Groovy and Java are quite good with each other, and um, the last version, um, in the last version, it, it's also built with Gradle. And uh, let's see how uh, JBEG works. So, yeah, my slide is full of bullet point, but um, yeah, that's not the point we, I want to make. Uh, so let's uh, get down to business and do some coding. Um, no, that's not. Okay. So you see that probably, right? Right. I need the right window there. So uh, what we want to do is, um, I'll probably enhance it a little. Um, JBEG. I just need to check my script. Um, yeah, JPEG. Great. Okay. Um, we first, what we do is um, find the right folder. So we make a project folder. So I go to my projects, um, conference, great, conf this year, and. Um, I make a project um, it's like um, my JBake example, and uh, no, there's already uh, my JBake example. Oh, there's a typo there. Whatever, that's not important. <laughs> so um, you can install uh, JBake via SDK man. Um, so that's Pretty straightforward. I will skip. To. Who knows SDK man? Who doesn't? Okay, uh, check it out. SDKman.io. <laughs> um, like SDKman.io. Okay, great. So uh, you can uh, install JBEG, and with JBEG, you can uh, init uh, or just I, um, probably with a with minus. Um, and we want a template, of course. There are several templating um, mechanisms for JBEG. And uh, what we want to use is uh, Groovy, of course. There are several um, Groovy in supports of, um, of templating. Um, the simple Groovy templating is uh, done by this. Um, so we now have a 
a groovy example and let's take a look at the at the tree there so um folder structure yeah you can see the folder structure um and uh, yeah let's take a look at the assets there assets there is uh, all stuff that it's uh, copied as it is to your output folder uh so it's um your css files your um Favicon icon, I forgot that in my example project. Um, your fonts, your JavaScript, if you have some, um, that's all there. So um, that's, that's an immutable kind of, uh, it, it's copied as it is. Then, um, any questions for the assets there? Okay, so then the content there. Uh, the content is, um, you can add plain HTML files there, or uh, you can add plain, um, or you can add um, uh, yeah, templated files there. So content files there are um, you can mark down. You can ASCII doc. We um, will use mainly ASCII doc in our examples because that's cooler in my opinion. But yeah, uh, <laughs> that's another question. Um, so you can add anything you want, and um, then you have the templates, and your templates will um, mix with the content and. Um, and then put out some stuff in the content um, files. We should probably, um, yeah, look at one, shouldn't we? So yeah, let's do that. Um, we use Adam. I use Adam for this example, and uh, then we go to content um, blog and look for the fourth. I hope this is one. Nice one. So, yeah, this looks nice. Um, we go on full screen. So, uh, no. Okay, uh, this is the header, that's the title of the post, and uh, then there's the name. Um, you need those um, fields. Uh, what the fields that are recommended, you can yeah just go on the uh, JPEG website because yeah it's already ten minutes so we should move on I guess. Um, so the name of the author is here um, in Markdown. You can uh, describe the, the values more detailed in in um, ASCII doc. This is uh, like preset. The first thing is the title, then the second thing is the name of the author, the th third um, line is the date, and then you have JPEG specific types uh, or, or values or properties, and that's the type of the, um, of the content file, and it's, this is a post, so um, this uh, type of post will um, mix with a post template. So we have a, also a post template, as we remember, in the templates, there should be a post somewhere here. Okay, and um, then we have a st status. There are st three statuses. Uh, it's pre-published, uh, it's in draft, and it's um, published. Um, only published files will be, um, yeah, published. <laughs> uh, drafts won't, and uh, pre-published will be um, rendered. Everything will be rendered, um, but you can't access them via links, or they won't be in in the lists uh, where you can, um, yeah, accumulate all or, or list all your your stuff. Uh, I'll show an example later. Um, and the tags, you can add tags, and you can also like um, add a search engine or uh, something like that. Then you can. Uh, find blog entries, for example, easier. Uh, JPEG, especially JPEG, is um, uh, really good for, for blogs. If you have a personal blog, it's really just content to read. You uh, use it and, um, yeah, you, you write your blog post in Markdown, you can add uh, images or whatever, and uh, it's really great. Uh, you can even uh, add uh, code snippets. Yeah, so that's a content file, and... Um, now let's look at the, um, at the template file, I guess. Let me just check my schedule here. Yeah, okay. Perhaps we open the whole project in Atom. So, open the whole project. 
Oh. Y pin. Okay. So yeah, content templates. Is there a presentation mode? No. Good. Um, yeah, we go to the post probably because we saw that. Uh, so we uh, we have this template, and this template can um, yeah have other templates. Do you see that well enough? And uh, for example, this is the header yeah um, template, and we have a footer template. Okay, that's surrounding um, gibberish, and then there's uh, actually some HTML or something like that, uh, where we can add stuff, even variables. And uh, who's familiar with the Groovy templates or Groovy template engines? Okay, who is familiar with the markup Groovy template engine? Okay, um, great. Um, not that many. Um, that's too much to describe right now, but I uh, recommend um, go on the Groovy website and uh, read it or look for examples, or even um, look at uh, examples here or in the project I will provide in, uh, in, the, in the ongoing of the slides um, or of my presentation here. Okay, um, yeah. So uh, we can add another um, templates and do some individual stuff here, like um, the page header is um, the content title and the content title will be um, in our content blog post, which is uh, in this Example, first post. Um, yes. Great. Um, what you should um, keep in mind is that um, when you put a header there, um, it probably will open a HTML tag, and you should close this HTML tag in the footer. So um, I show you that, for example, here, the H HTML tag and body tag are closed in the footer. So if you for forget that, uh, JPEG won't compile. Um, let's um, yeah, let's do some baking. So jbake, not jbale, <laughs> uh, bake it. Uh, so this will process the, all the stuff, and uh, then we ha should have something like an output folder. And the output folder is uh, yeah, it's the folders uh, structure of the assets. It's um, as it is copied there. And then you have um, your um, your files here, uh, your uh, templates, and um, your content is also as it is. The folder structure of your content is also copied as it is. So have you have an about page? This is here also. Can you see that? By the way, or is it too small? Because uh, oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> okay. So output um, the blog, the content was like this content blog 2013 it's the same but the output is html and not some ascii doc or whatever um yes so templates and uh, now let's look what this uh, website actually look like because um, we see a lot of code but yeah well, how does it look like so we um with jpeg minus s you um you can Make a server, and then we look at the uh, website. Mm, yes. Uh, localhost. And there we have a blog post. Uh, let's check that again. Mm. No. Yeah, this should run like this. Okay, great. Um, so this is home. Then we have an about, uh, and we have those four blog posts here, and we have an archive that's also rendered, and here we can see all the stuff uh, that's posted. Probably uh, 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 this archive is quite interesting, so we'll have a look at that um, when I find a file. Um, archive GSP. Great. So um, we include a header, we include a menu, uh, as you can 
see. Uh, this is the menu. Then uh, we have a page header, that's block archive. Then we have a hori horizon horizontal line, probably. No, we don't have. And now we have um, uh, some code here. So we go for publish posts. That's a standard um, a variable, kind of, for, for uh, JPEG. Uh, we can access that in our context. And uh, we go each post over each post and uh, we iterate over it and uh, say, okay, if it's in last month, uh, last month isn't de uh, declared right now because it's null, um, then make a new section, which is this, um, and put a simple date there. Uh, so we, this is quite... So everything in this in this uh, brackets or uh, and per percentage um, signs is groovy code actually, and then we add a, um, a list part and say okay this is this is new new list part, and if we have uh, something else then it's something else, and um, so this discloses list part and this is uh, the list item of the post and this is. Actually, this. Uh, if there were more posts in one uh, ye year or uh, no, in one month, uh, then it would list like more posts, link list items there, right? Um, should we try that or is it is it okay? Okay, okay, great. It's okay. <laughs> great. So, so this code is executed Yes, you generate the page, and uh, the, what the, the Gradle server does, so if you uh, say Gradle minus S, uh, no, JPEG server, or the JPEG minus S, uh, it will host a website, it will, um, it will um, have a web server, and it will always look if there's any changes periodically, and only if you bake something, it will be um, yeah, there. So, um, it, yeah, if we change something in the template, it, we have to bake it first. Um, yeah, it won't bake automatically. You could probably do something like that if, you, if you'd like, but I don't, yeah. If you do a change, just type jbake and, or if you have a continuous build, which um, we could do later, uh, <laughs> because I prepared it, uh, then you just um, commit it and push it, and then it will be yeah, delivered as soon as it is built or baked, or whatever. Okay. Um, okay, let's see what I forgot. Okay, nothing. Uh, one, uh, one important thing is the JBEX properties. Uh, the JBEX properties uh, says a lot of things. For example, uh, it defines uh, which template file is um, is has is to um, adapt to uh, which tag or, or type? So uh, you, if you remember, we have this um, uh, blog post, and the type is post. Also, like um, where is it? This was one one. Um, the type JPEG type is post. So if we look in the uh, JBIG properties, we look at post, and template post uh, file is post GSP. So um, this posts here, which all have the type post, will all mix with the type post here, and um, this is it. That's it. Um, yeah, a whole website. So this is great, I guess. Yeah, and the other websites are um, also like this website, uh, for example, the, the start, the home. It, it shows several um, blog posts already there. Um, you could also like, um, yeah, do some groovy coding and say, okay, uh, let's simplify that or abstract that and show only the first 50 words or something like that. That's also possible. Um, the JBake file. Let me just check. Um, it's 
um, it's basically like a Gradle file, so it tells you metadata about a, about a project. Um, uh, you can also um, generate a, a feed, which I will show later, I guess. Uh, or you, yeah, you can also generate feeds like an um, RSS feed or Atom feed. Um, the default configuration is in default dot properties. Um, so uh, some some things are defined predefined. Um, usually the posts thing, I guess. And uh, you can also add a sitemap. And you have to render sitemap true, and then you get a sitemap. Um, yeah, uh, you can override all the default properties in this in this file, of course. It's like uh, cascading and uh, or hierarchical. And you can also comment uh, out any configurations with a hashtag. Um, so that works. Um, yeah, it it just describes your project. Um, yeah, but since we are even more groovy, I guess, uh, let's, um, yeah, it's like a Gradle file, so we can also like build it with Gradle, so let's do that. Um, the, it was released just about a month ago, I guess, the JPEG Gradle plugin um, uh, version one. So that's a cool thing. <laughs> and uh, now let's adapt to that. Uh, where is it? There is it. So we cancel this. Um, we add another and let it run, I guess. No, not yet. Um, we go, uh, we cop first we move, we make a directory. Uh, because the Gradle um, plugin um, has another standard directory, um, you could also build some other stuff with it. For example, w w I don't know, some other GUIs have. Oh, yeah, I forgot to add this. And uh, now we move everything to source. JPEG. Thank you. Okay, and then we uh, make a build dot Gradle file. No. Um, he yeah, yeah, did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It did work. Uh, oh, no, great. Um, Adam. No, it just didn't work for the source directory, but the rest did work. Um, to explain that, okay. Uh, Adam, uh, Bill, Gradle. Okay. Pardon? You missed it. There's a title. Yeah, great. So. We rename it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And ins. Um, I guess let's check. Or let me copy that. <laughs> uh, Great. This looks good. Uh, we need it later, so I'll. Oh, when we need it later, I'll just comment it on. Okay, uh, that's all we need. And then we can uh, do it like uh, Gradle. JPEG. No, just big. Okay, and this will generate uh, the output file. Uh, the output directory is not output. That's the difference with the standard J JPEG directory layout. It will be um, built JPEG. Okay, so the output folder uh, in standard JPEG is uh, 
I probably copied that too, yeah. So we can delete it later. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's here now in JPEG. Um, what we do if we want to uh, host that is we um, like JPEG, yes. But now we need to add the directory because it's not in the standard directory. Okay, and let's see if is still is working. Yes. Uh, so I refreshed. I can also like really do it. <laughs> okay, it works. So the build with Gradle is uh, uh, to migrate to Gradle is quite easy with JBEG, as you see. Um, okay, okay, we did that. We did that. This coding stuff is really fast, and writing is um, really uh, no. Okay. Um, we can also uh, migrate the the JBEG properties. Um, so we have the JBEG properties, and uh, we don't like them here uh, because we don't like that either. Um, because who needs a properties file when I have the Gradle file, right? Uh, so let's check JBEG configuration. Let me check that again. We copy one or we copy all, and then we, we no, we copy just one. Okay, this is how it works, and uh, this is what the site host was. Uh, so what we do is we do it like now. IntelliJ would be great, or do you know a multi-line uh, edit command for Atom? <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Um, okay, let's. Uh, just need that, probably. And what we also need is the quotes around it. So, yes, this works. button okay and um, now whatever um, Gradle pay. Uh, we clean first. <laughs> Gradle. I should use autocomplete. <laughs> okay, so. Ah. Yay. About is there, home is there, the archive should be there. Okay. Great. Still works. Checker. Uh, so we migrated to Gradle. That's cool. Um, we verified it. Uh, yes, that's okay. Okay, so we are, um, we are done with that, with the JBAG things. Uh, are there any questions? Okay, so Oh, like templates, um, like from standard uh, JPEG. You can only uh, you there are standard examples 
So you can have the templates, uh, for example, the simple groovy template right now I'm using was with, uh, with this uh, jbake minus init with a template and it was groovy. Um, there are several and let's take a look at the um, okay. He doesn't like the JBEG, uh, HTTPS, so... Ah, damn it! <laughs> now you have to f enforce it, so... Um, we look at the documentation. At the latest and greatest, and look for templates. Um, yes. So um, default templates, custom templates. Now this is uh, yeah. Here are the templates directory. So um, we have those, those different kind of templates. And uh, is it your question if there are predefined uh, templates or if there are like styling templates? Oh, okay. So the styling is um, not only made by the, um, the HTML, but mainly by CSS. So um, that's what I wanted to ask. Um, since we only have 17 minutes left, um, and I prepared some CSS, some styling, that's of course uh, important. Um, and I also prepared a continuous delivery pipeline, uh, or pu publishing pipeline for, for the website. Um, so I'd like to have you, what you want, <laughs> your audience, so uh, um, what you like. So um, hands in favor for styling, hands in favor for, for continuous pipeline. Okay, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll try to fit it in for, for everything. Okay, uh, who knows about uh, CSS? Cascading style, okay. Um, great. So I'll, I'll skip the part where um, where I, I tell a, a lot of um, stuff there. Let's play that again. Um, Groovy and CSS. Uh, CSS. What what is important about here is, uh, CSS is the hierarchy. So um, your the hierarchy is the browser is the first thing that comes uh, and and uh, has some. Um, yeah, standard or factory um, given uh, layouts. Uh, so the browser already defines some styles. Then the user can add his custom style above that. Uh, you need to know that uh, as a, as a, as a uh, stylist because you, anything can happen. <laughs> and then the author, that's usually you uh, or us. Um, so anything we include to the, to the styles. Um, the rule is that the latter overrides the former, rule by rule. So if, uh, if the browser, for example, uh, defines a headline is that big and this font, um, the, the user can override it, and we as, an, as the authors uh, can also override it. Uh, both the users and the browsers. Uh, it's um, cascading onto matching elements. Okay? So, um, yeah. I'll, it depends on the selection. CSS, okay, I'll skip that. Uh, what is quite interesting is the specificity. Um, check, uh, check out, we'll check it out for a second. Um, you can calculate your specificity, specificity. And the higher the score, so it's just the digital number, uh, 121 is higher than 22. So this has a, a much higher specificity than uh, the other one. Um, if you want to make a photo again, there's uh, now the, okay, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> great. Um, so this is quite cool. Where is the keynote again? There it is. Um, that's quite interesting. So um, if you need that, um, the specificity is like the key to, to override stuff. Um, because we are groovy, we don't want to do plain CSS, we do want to do uh, crew CSS. Uh, so let's have a look at that. Now, why is that a different window? Uh, 
Um, also, there are CSS cheat sheets, which are like this big, and it's crazy. <laughs> uh, there are also smaller ones, but they're still big. Um, so, Crew CSS is um, it's made by Adam L. Davis, and uh, it's like less, but uh, without inventing a new language, he says. Um, you should probably check out the uh, content yourself. So, uh, <laughs> it uh, has a lot of benefits. Um, um, for, for us, because we don't have to l learn less, uh, not l so <laughs> another language, <laughs> uh, less as another language, this one, this less, not, not fewer, kind of, so um, don't misunderstand that. Um, so, no, that's wrong. Uh, let's make a new um, directory in our uh, source. CSS, and uh, then we want um, source CSS my style CSS. Okay. Um, yet another Groo CSS. Nice. And um, do you remember the the website we had? So let's. Um, Oh, I finally come to it, so... Uh, conf, uh, great conf, 17. Mm. Um. I'll uh, have a server here, so uh, we we can always check what we did. And, and let's go to Atom, and then let's go to the website. Where is it? Uh, here. Uh, this room, take here. Okay. Um, seems like it didn't work with the hosting, so we'll check in the... Did we make it clean, or...? Okay, should be there. Okay, let's uh, do it the old fashioned way. Okay, um, for example, this is too small. We want it uh, another way, so um, what we need to do is, of course, um, add a style, but uh, where to add it? So we have a look at our templates in the index HTML. Um, no, this is the output. We don't want that. We want our source, JBake, uh, templates, index, and there is the header. It's called blog. And there's this class page header. And here is uh, one disadvantage of Groo CSS. Uh, it doesn't work well with um, dashes in um, tag names. So, uh, or in class names, or whatever names. Uh, so, um, we either we add another um, class, we, like um, my style, or my header. Uh, Copy it, best case, and now we declare it. Um, since Gru CSS is also DSL, uh, some of you probably attended some uh, DSL talks today, <laughs> and uh, it's not quite easy to have uh, to declare a class like this. Um, so in Gru CSS, one thing is um, you have British uh, English test um, keyboard. So, uh, you have to make a, a underscore before you define a class. And the rest is pretty straightforward. Uh, we want to have the font size. That's also something different. In uh, CSS, it's uh, front mi um, minus or dash size. 
In Cruise ACS, you access all those variables um, with a dash. You access them with a uh, camel case instead of a dash. Uh, so font size is like, I want to have it twice the size it would be. Uh, so we can, yeah, um, there. Um, in CSS, it would be something like this. Works. Um, but uh, since we're in Cruises, as we can do it this way. So let's um, create the groovy thing. Oh, what we forgot is to make it, um, to build it, the CSS file. So this is one thing. And another thing is to have it. Do I have it? Mm -hmm. New window. Yeah. We need to tell Crew CSS where to put um, the, where the in, in input file is. So the input file is um, my style Crew CSS. I, I hope that's right. Yeah, my style. That will be my style in CSS. And what we also need to do, we need to load it in our, uh, in our um, meta uh, header. So we go in the header, uh, we look for the CSS files. So these are the CSS files. So we uh, duplicate the line and just do like my style. So also important is this now, this, all the CSS um, tags or uh, classes and, and stuff you define here is uh, overrides all the classes before, right? Like uh, last comes wins. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, what we also need to do is um, build it. Oh, that's the wrong, <laughs> wrong thing here. Uh, where's the, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, so Gradle. We clean it, we bake it, and we do some convert um, CSS. I don't know that, so we just go by um, camel case. Okay, there's. Uh, good. Which one? Uh, the convert C. Yeah. Probably. What's the difference? I don't know. I don't remember. So, um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't remember the, <laughs> the actual command. <laughs> but then, pardon? Pardon? Ah, Gradle. Oh, Gradle. Yeah. Not there. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I think it was convert CSS, but uh, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll look it up later. Um, uh, you can look it up on your own, so <laughs> no worries there. Okay, um, let's reload the page. Should have done something, I guess. Um, the build was successful, I guess, yeah. Oh, check out the day. Let's um, let's check it in the files build JPEG CSS. Yeah, it's not there. So why? Hmm. Sorry. We did that. We did that. Let's uh, take a look at the example project. Pardon? This file. Oh. Ah, <laughs> 100 points. Okay, we have to f save all files, by the way. Um, also this one. Okay, great. Great hint. Thank you very much, Puneet. Um, so we probably can do convert C because it now knows convert C. <laughs> great. So let's have a look. This one. Wow, block is much bigger now. <laughs> okay. Um, three, three minutes? Damn it. Um, 
Okay, okay. I made an example project. I'll just browse really fast over it. Um, where is my IntelliJ? IntelliJ. Okay, IntelliJ. We use another one. Um, and we go to presentation mode. Okay. Um, so what I have here uh, is my talk. This is my example project. You can uh, go on GitHub. It's uh, on my GitHub account, Groovy Baking and Styling. And um, that's one part. You, uh, what I did, I put it on GitHub. Uh, second thing is um, I, um, yeah, I styled it and whatever. And um, we can run it right now if you'd like to. Yeah. No. Like, um, is it always? No, we also need to cancel the other one. Um, okay. So, what we have now is our example project. Not. Is it? Yeah, but this shouldn't be the right groovy bag and styling. This would be the, the one. Now let me check. Um, perhaps. Damn it. Okay, uh, I'll skip that. Um, GitHub. Then I um, I registered on Travis CI, and what you see here is a tra Travis Jamal. Repositories, and if it finds um, Travis, um, a Travis channel, a configuration file, it um, it will look at it and say, "Okay, um, it's a Travis build. I built it." And if, when there is, uh, you can configure if there if there's any change on uh, any branch or a specific branch or on a pull request, it will build it um, for you, and it will have a have a build report. So we go and uh, Travis CI. So that's my last build. It was um, from yesterday. And now let's um, just uh, get, uh, did I commit it? No, commit. Uh, what did I uh, edit? And I don't know what I did there. Oh yeah, I know. Um, edit new great conf mascot. Uh, that's what I did today, and we'll have a look at the website, I guess. So this is it right now, um, and you can, okay, time is over, unfortunately. Um, this is it right now, and when the build is um, done, okay, um, Oops. <laughs> no, I probably need to change the, the password. <laughs> okay. Um, we see, now it started. It was pushed, now it started. And uh, the Travis um, channel, um, I um, where I, I host it is, a, is in a S3 bucket. You can configure it to host a, a static website. And what I did here is uh, um, I said, okay, deploy in a channel file and uh, deploy it to here. You, there's also Gradle plugins. You can uh, deploy it from, from your own PC. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, but if you have a, if a, a distur distributed project, um, it's much easier to have uh, it built um, on, on, a, on a server and then everyone can look at it and fix the build or whatever. Um, yeah, so the local deer that is deployed is like built JBAG and um, you need to skip the cleanup because uh, somehow Travis copies all the files someone, uh, somewhere else and then you can't, uh, you can't uh, access it anymore um, just before deployment. So uh, when, the, when the build is done, it uh, it cleans up and then it deploys. That's I don't know why, but it does that. So you need to skip the cleanup. Um, yeah, and I hope. No, this usually it's just one minute running, but now it's a little bit more. Ah, oh, okay.
have a look at the, uh, at the new website. This was it right now, and yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what I did in my CSS file, I did some calculations. So this uh, um, horizontal line is always another color. <laughs> it's random. Uh, yeah, uh, you can have a look at the my crew, base crew CSS, and um, yeah, so random. It's it, I parsed it uh, to a six-digit hexadecimal, and it put, just put it in here. So. It always will be another, yeah, it's good for testing, you know, <laughs> because if you don't uh, change anything big, you will al always recognize the color. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. Um, ah, I have some, uh, okay, publish with JPEG, uh, what you bake, that's great, we did that. Um, great, now that's uh, Gretel. Um, Outlook. Uh, would be next time. Uh, I would like to attend some Groove script, hopefully. Uh, that's um, Groovy compiling to JavaScript, <laughs> uh, and I'm quite excited to to uh, to look at that. Um, and um, yeah, questions, answers. There's no time. You can approach me and ask. So thank you. Next is Hacker Garden. Go there and um, do some open source with us. Uh, it will be great.